All right, I saw this on eBay and uh, I had some ideas for some videos and I wanted something like this. Paid a hundred bucks for it, which I think is a good deal. Um, this is an MFJ Deluxe Versa Tuner 2 and it has the roller inductor in it, which I want for the video. Um, it's a T match network, so there's a uh, inductor, I mean, a, a capacitor and an inductor to ground and then a capacitor on the out. So, capacitor on the in, capacitor on the out, and then an inductor to ground in the middle. So, that's the T structure. Um, has a nice uh, double arrow, uh, double meter in it for VSWR. Uh, has a little lap counter here. Watch the turns of the thing. I don't really like the finger thing. I, I might I might go over the lathe and build a crank for this thing. Um, but otherwise, it's nice. It has a bunch of settings. It has a, has a dummy load built in uh, for 100 watts, which I run. It's good for 90 seconds, so that'll, that'll be fine. Uh, you can do a, 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 a wire, a long wire. There's a, a ballon inside. I'll show you that. Uh, it'll do two different coaxes, so it's a, it's a switch between two different antennas, which I don't have on my rig right now. And then it has bypass, which I had to add a switch to my system. And this has the switch built in, so you can just bypass the tuner. Because my, uh, my radio has a automatic tuner built in, so most of the time I operate in bypass mode. But on a couple bands, I need to have an extra tuner, uh, give me a little bit more range. And uh, again, a bypass for the... Uh, bypass for the dummy load again. So uh, it's kind of funny that the, when you're on bypass into the dummy load, it goes straight into the dummy load. When you're over here and on dummy load, it actually goes through the tuner and then the dummy load, which I don't know what you want to do that for. But anyway, um, yeah, it's got a 30 watt scale and a 300 watt scale. It'll do peak or averaging, which is nice. Has an on or off. And uh, yeah, let's look inside. All right, so uh, here is the uh, roller inductor and the two capacitors. Let me flip it around. I think you'll be able to see the inside better this, this way. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, so here is the uh, two capacitors and there's the roller inductor. The roller inductor's got a strange uh, patented feature, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is this little guy here. So when you're Where's my wheel? My wheel's way down. Yeah, my wheel's right down, down there. Let's see, I want to be going yeah, this way. So when the wheel uh, comes along, it's using uh, uh, the short, it's, it, this is the, it starts from this end and goes this end. So not much inductance to lots of inductance, okay? So we're, we're, we're going, going along here. And when we get halfway, this little thing here oh, just went out of the way. It just, did you see that? Let's see here. Uh, so if I go this way, it, oh, it just went down. It's ma now it's making contact. Why does it making contact? Well, it, it shorts out this part of the, uh, of the winding. So these don't have any parasitic ringing or anything. It shorts those out when you don't need them. And then when you do need them, uh, it goes ahead and, and, adds them to the circuit. So you, so now you get the whole length. So that's kind of a cute little feature. They say it's patented. Um, let's see here. What is the, what other else is going on? Uh, there's a PC board in the back and that does the switching between everything. It also has the, uh, uh, the coupling for the SWR meter and power meter. Um, but half of the circuits over here, and half of the circuit is, yeah, my camera, half of the circuit is down under there. So there's two PC boards that have half of the circuit on one side, half of the circuit on the other. And then on the back, we've got uh, the two antennas, the transmitter, uh, the long wire uh, straight and the long wire through the ballon, and then uh, a place for power to go in if you want. Uh, there's also a uh, nine volt battery inside. They say that the nine volt battery will last the length of the instrument, uh, the, la not the instrument, last the length of the battery. So uh, yeah, it, it should last a long, long time. It, the current draw is basically 
whenever the ba batteries are no longer, so let's say the battery says, we'll guarantee the battery for five years. Well, that, this, this will work for five years then. So yeah, so don't worry about the battery. The only thing about using nine volts instead of the 12 volts coming in the back is you're limited to 300 watts. Um, anything over 250 watts, I think will be, the SWR and power meter won't work quite correctly, but I'm only gonna be using 100 watts, so this is all I ever need. Um, it does have a backlight on the meter, and so the backlight won't work unless you bring power in the back because you don't want to drain the battery with the, uh, with the meter. Um, there was a couple things inside that were kind of wrong. Uh, the battery had corroded and the, uh, the actual connector to the battery was also all corroded. So I replaced, I replaced the nine volt battery connector and I tidied up the uh, wires here. I put my signature cable lacing on it. Um, yeah, let me show you the uh, schematic because that's kind of interesting. All right, so here's the user's manual and uh, talks about how to use it. And on the last page, yeah, the last page is the schematic, okay? So I figured, oh great, I got a schematic. And then I compared the schematic to my circuit and I went, oh, well, I must have the wrong schematic because this only shows one circuit. And there, I have two PC boards. And well, it is the exact correct schematic, but it doesn't show you what's on one PC board and what's on the other PC board. It doesn't have that. So yeah, never do that, please. Um, so I took a look at it and I said, okay, well, uh, well, there's about a line here. So this stuff is on that board and this is on that board. And I went, no, oh, 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 no, this transistor's on the other board. So I had to go up and around um, and uh, try to figure out what was wired in, what wasn't wired in, what was on a PC board, what was a bare wire. And so I uh, came up with this schematic here. Um, all right, can we see it all together? And let me change the exposure here so it's a little bit better. Oops, too far, too far. All right, so this is my new schematic. Uh, this is what's on the back PC board on the back panel, so all of this. And then uh, here's where the wires go across. There's four wires that go across to the second PC board, which I have marked in a dashed line. So this is the second PC board. And then there's a couple things that are kind of added on, like the nine volt battery is wired in, the little lamp on the meter is wired in, and then the two meters are wired in. So um, I show all of that. Um, if you want one of these schematics, I put this on my uh, GitHub site, uh, GitHub slash MSIGuy, um, and you can find the schematic. So, all right. Um, and so what I wanna do with this is uh, go, go in depth of uh, antenna tuning uh, with a uh, uh, unit like this and examine everything with a VNA and uh, see exactly what's, what these things do with, on a VNA. And I think that'll be very interesting. So give that a, give that a shot.